guys, it's Anna here and today I wanted to show you guys my hair going from straight to curly and I know that I've made this video on my channel before but I've kind of stepped up my game quite a bit and I just wanted to show you guys my new routine that I do when I'm going back to curly hair and it's just to kind of to make sure that I don't get any heat damage and that my hair is just the best taken care of that it can be so that's what I'm going to show you guys. My hair is in this funny little hairstyle right now because I just went out into the outdoors, into the rain, to film a clip for another video that I'm making for you guys. And of course, that made my hair go kind of crazy and frizzy. So I definitely need to wash my hair right now. So that is what I'm gonna do for you guys. Um, this is just kind of to counteract the frizziness. Okay, because uh, I wasn't about to come onto the video looking like that, okay? I think I look like an elf from Lord of the Rings or something. What do you think? Give this video a huge thumbs up if you like elves and give it an even bigger thumbs up if you like videos about going from straight hair to curly hair. I also want to give a special mention to my friend Andrea from the channel Curls Beauty and she gives tons of great curly hair tips as well as beauty tips in general and she does a whole bunch of great lifestyle vlogs that are really really interesting so I think that you guys would really love her channel so I will link it down below for you guys to check out. So without more further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the video. This is straight to curly, let's go. Okay, so the very first thing that I'm gonna do before I even put any water on my hair is I'm going to apply a pre-poo. And this is really important because it's gonna protect your hair against the harsh stripping qualities of your shampoo, which is really important. I don't wanna to be too harsh on my hair right now at all because it's already gone through a pretty tough time from the straightener and whatnot. And I do wanna use shampoo because I haven't washed my hair in like two weeks or something like that. So the pre-poo that I'm using is from Queen of Kinks Curls and Coils. It's a pre-poo detangler and nourishing conditioner. And what you wanna do with this is you wanna apply this onto dry hair before you get in the shower and it's just gonna create like a protective barrier whilst you're washing your hair. This one is actually really, really conditioning and it detangles your hair as well, so that's great if you are gonna use this on curly hair or straight hair or whatever. So I'm gonna go and apply that right now. But I don't have very much left. Okay. Let's get it onto this section. Make sure you get it on the ends because those are the oldest and most vulnerable sections of your hair and the chances are you probably went over those the most often with the straightener so they need a little bit of extra care. So I'm actually going to leave this on my hair now for 15 minutes and that's going to give my hair kind of a deep condition before I go ahead and shampoo. So in 15 minutes I'm going to come back to you, okay? If you guys don't do this with your products you are probably wasting so much product because so much of it gets stuck like around the edges and stuff especially if it's like a super thick formula and it just cannot get down and it like it doesn't matter how much you squeeze it it just doesn't push it down and it doesn't come out so just cut it off that's my little tip and you end up using all of the product in the entire bottle so it's been 15 minutes now so now i am going to take my hair down uh, oh it feels soft already and as you can see it's kind of already going back to curly because of course you add a little bit of moisture to straighten hair and it will start going back to its natural state so let's get into the shower 
I actually used the Bumble and Bumble shampoo. It's sulfate free and I love it because even though it's sulfate free, it's probably the most cleansing one that I've tried. Like it really suds up and you can feel it really cleansing your hair. So I think that's really important when you've had your hair straight for a couple of weeks because you've applied so many products and your hair kind of has that funny smell to it. So I think it's really important to get a really good cleansing. Like it's not the time for a co-wash really. Like you really do need to deep clean your hair after you've had it straight for a while. Now I really did want to film the rest of my shower routine for you guys but my camera died in the middle of it so I just had to carry on a shower but it's okay because I filmed another little bit on the end for you guys then for my conditioner I used this and it's actually a leave-in conditioner and it says it's for extra thirsty curly hair and it's for moisture and it nourishes and it adds some shine so this is actually free from sulfates parabens silicones mineral oils Darlates and DEA. It's cruelty free and vegan. I actually helped to design this one, so check it out and I'll link it down below. It's actually working really, really well. So I used that along with the Bumble and Bumble Defining Cream. And when I use this, I just like to seal everything in with some coconut oil. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So sorry I couldn't film all this when I was in the shower. My camera actually died. So I'm just going to use this. It's still cold enough in England that my coconut oil is a solid. So I'm gonna run this through my hair, especially on the ends, because I wanna lock in a lot of moisture onto the ends of my hair so that they don't dry out. When all the product is in my hair, I then just scrunch it all up. Just makes the curls a little bit more springy. So just scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. You might have some bits that just like want to stay straight. I don't think I've got any though. But if you do, then just scrunch. You can even twist it around your finger and that can help. But like say, like this piece, you can just twist it around your finger like this and that will help it to get really, really curly and springy. I'm not gonna finger cool my whole hair though because that is gonna take forever. So just scrunch it all up. So then you just want to let your hair air dry, so I'm not going to use a towel or not even a microfiber towel, I'm literally just going to let my hair air dry. Whilst it's drying I'm going to keep scrunching it like sort of throughout the day just to make sure that it has got as much bounce and springiness as possible and I will try to come back to you with the results but for right now that's what my hair looks like as you can see. There's curls, I can't actually see that there's any damage right now because of my routine that I did when I first straightened it. So you can click up here if you want to see my curly to straight routine. And yeah, I will show you guys the results when my hair is dry. Hey guys, so my hair is dry now. I think about 90% dry and it's the next day. So there is a little bit of frizziness going on in my hair and that's just because I had to sleep on it. But for the most part, this is what my hair looks like today. As you can see, I don't think I've got any heat damage going on, so. Hey, I think I did pretty well there. Whenever I have straight hair and like I post a picture on Snapchat or I post a picture on Instagram, I always get tons of comments of people saying, please don't do that to your hair, you're going to kill your hair. And I know that I'm a huge advocate for not straightening your hair too much because it is really damaging. But literally that was the second time that I straightened my hair since uh, the last year. So <laughs> I've literally straightened my hair twice in the space of a year before that I haven't straightened my hair for about 18 months or something like that so I think if you are going to straighten your hair just make sure that you have just got a really really good curly to straight hair routine make sure that you're using um, heat protectant and make sure that you're not using too high a heat or just doing it in such a way that you're going to cause damage and that way when you go back to curly again hopefully you should notice that you don't have any damage and also it will help a ton if you don't do it too often so don't go straightening your hair like every single week I think that would just cause a lot of damage as soon as I straighten my hair I'm like why did I do that? I want to have curly hair again now. <laughs> yeah, I'm just so happy to have my curly hair back and as far as I can tell, there is absolutely no damage going on. Pretty much all I did whilst I let it dry, I just kept scrunching it like this and that just really, really reinforced the curls and just made them nice and springy again. If any of them even had the idea of going straight or anything, then, you know, I kicked that right out of them just by scrunching it. And yeah, so this is what it looks like. 
please make sure that you give this video a huge thumbs up if you love healthy hair that doesn't have any heat damage because I know I do and make sure that you subscribe and I will see you in the next video which may be playing on screen right now and yeah that's pretty much all from me thank you guys so much for watching the video I will see you guys in the next one bye